Hey guys, finally getting that bidet video to you. So what we're going to do is look at the first problem that we had, how we overcame it, and then the finished install, and then kind of my thoughts on it, pros and cons. Here we go. See how straight this space is? You want that. The first pass, it was stripped. It was crooked. So we had to go to Home Depot and replace that whole unit. The leaks? Moment of truth. <laughs> Brad. Tank's filling up. Yeah? Yep. Good. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Okay, where does it go to the front? I'm trying to read it. Okay. Yes. Low, high, rear, yeah. nozzle clean, clean right? front wash. Here we go, okay. front wash. Yeah, front. Go yeah. higher, yeah. Can you make it less <laughs> forceful? Is there a way to make it softer? Nope. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Did a toot and shoot. And then you're back. And the back one's here. And then if you want to clean. So she goes straight down for clean, right? Clean, yeah, clean the toilet. It cleans itself out. Right. Wow. Yeah. I think that's going to be a very powerful. Um, yes, it is. It's going to wash your meat about time. Event. And you can adjust the angle. I really prefer warmer to the cooler. And I also prefer to have a handheld. That way I can use the hose or the sprayer on it to also rinse out my pouch at the same time. But I usually do that with warm water, as y'all know. And lastly, as a female, I'm not too crazy about the water pushing from the back to the front. I do everything I can to avoid UTIs. So I don't have to go on antibiotics, so I can avoid C. diff. It's a slippery slope. So this one isn't for me, but we got it for my husband anyway because he was having surgery and he wanted a way to be able to do that without needing to lift behind him. And moving the arms behind his back would have been painful at best. So it works for him. It's in our guest bath and that's fine. <laughs>